Whispers of the Past. Chapter 2, The First Whisper. Kira's day proceeded as usual. After returning to her apartment from her grandmother's house, the jade pendant a constant, comforting presence against her chest. Despite the whirlwind of emotions and discoveries, life's mundane rhythms offered a semblance of normalcy. She kept the pendant on, a link to her grandmother that she wasn't ready to sever, not even for a moment. As the night drew in with Ethan away and the apartment bathed in the soft glow of lamplight, Kyra found herself enveloped in the quietude of her own company. The events of the day, particularly her interactions with the pendant and her grandmother's diary, seemed to recede into the background, replaced by the immediate demands of the present. It was in this setting of solitude and silence that the whisper came to her. A fleeting, almost imperceptible sound, it caressed her ear with a familiarity that sent a shiver down her spine. Kira, the voice, if it could be called that, was both comforting and unnerving in its intimacy. She looked around, half expecting to find someone standing in the dimly lit corners of her apartment, but she was unequivocally alone. The rational part of Kira's mind scrambled for explanations, external noises misconstrued by her weary brain, perhaps. Yet none of the logical reasons seemed to fit. The whisper had been too clear, too personal. It wasn't a sound carried by the wind or a figment of her imagination, spurred by grief and fatigue. When she recounted the experience to Ethan, his response was as she anticipated, grounded in logic and the tangible, dismissing the whisper as the byproduct of stress and emotional exhaustion. It's been a tough week, Kai, he said soothingly, trying to ease her concerns with a logical explanation. Your mind is just trying to process everything. But Kira felt a deep, unshakable conviction that the whisper was connected to the pendant she still wore, a connection that transcended the bounds of the physical world. The skepticism that had once defined her worldview was now punctured by the undeniable reality of her experience. She couldn't dismiss it as mere coincidence or overactive imagination. As she prepared for bed, the decision to keep the pendant on was made with a newfound resolve. It wasn't just a piece of jewelry or a memento, it was a bridge to something greater, something unexplored and deeply entwined with her family's history. Lying in the darkness, the weight of the pendant against her skin was a constant reminder of the mystery that had chosen her as its conduit. That night, as Kira drifted into sleep, the boundaries between the known and the unknown seemed to blur. The whisper had opened a door, revealing a path that led deep into the heart of her grandmother's legacy. With the pendant as her guide, Kira was poised on the threshold of a journey that would challenge everything she thought she knew about the world and herself. The first whisper was just the beginning, a beckoning into the unseen realms that had always lurked just beyond her perception, waiting for the right moment to make their presence known.